relocation may be on the horizon for the NHL after the news yesterday. Voters in Tempe, Arizona rejecting all three measures for the Arizona Coyotes $2.1 billion arena project. According to the unofficial results, the team's future in Arizona is in serious jeopardy. We know Arizona right now playing at that 5,000-seat arena, the college arena. It is something the NHL does not like. And now with this $2.1 billion project getting rejected by the voters in Arizona, it seems very likely that the Coyotes will be relocating to another city. We will see. I'm going to speculate on what city that will be. But just taking a look at some of the renderings, $2.1 billion for an NHL arena. It wasn't just the arena, it was building up the surrounding area, which is your typical modern day project that we always see. They They don't just build the arena, they build it all up. You can see it ends up not happening. This project will not happen. So all these renderings at this point are pretty much useless. And this will go into the stadium slash arenas that were never built file. Uh, You can see some more images of it. They were going to build up. Looks like some nice condos as well. This is a statement from the NHL. The National Hockey League is terribly disappointed by the results of the public referenda regarding the Coyotes arena project in Tempe. We are going to review with the Coyotes what the options might be going forward. There already was a significant lack of support for the Coyotes in Arizona. This is just going to add to it. And you can see the Coyotes putting out a statement. We are very disappointed. Tempe voters did not approve the arena project. As Tempe Mayor Corey Wood said, it was the best sports deal in Arizona history. (laughs) Well, that that looks like there's some disagreement between the voters uh, who are going to have to be, who would have had to have paid for some of it and the mayor there. Either way, this situation, it looks bleak right now for the Coyotes. Coyotes Arena plan in Tempe rejected by voters. Future is cloudy. Again, this was always already a situation where they were playing at a 5,000 seat arena. They needed to get this passed and it doesn't. And this could be the death nail for the Coyotes in Arizona. According to numerous reports, relocation of the troubled franchise is very much a reality now in cities like Houston, Salt Lake City, and Kansas City are being bantered about. This very likely means the end of the Arizona Coyotes. So that's from ESPN saying, look, you know, there's about a 90% chance this is it and they will move on from a potential stadium project in Arizona, and they will turn their focus towards a relocation situation, whether that be in Quebec City, whether that be in Salt Lake City. We're going to discuss that, but this is big news for the NHL. And I do also want to bring up Atlanta. There was a recent... And I do also want to bring up Atlanta. There was a recent proposal to bring the NHL back to the city of Atlanta, Georgia with around a $2 billion stadium project where they would build up the surrounding area so maybe Atlanta really makes a play. This reminds me of the MLB situation with the Oakland Athletics. You know, this Arizona Coyotes team where they're playing, the Athletics playing in the Coliseum. These are almost like dead franchises at this point. And you're going to get all these pitches from other teams like the MLB with the Utah pitch and the Orlando pitch. And now the NHL, you're going to get Atlanta involved, probably Quebec City, maybe Hamilton, Canada as well. Those cities are really going to make their play to get the Coyotes in a relocation type scenario. You can see these are just some different cities. These are options Houston. Uh, Houston has always been a city that is referenced for NHL teams that are considering relocation, most notably whenever rumors surface about the Coyotes moving, uh, which the team has denied recently. Of course, with the new stadium not passing, that's going to change. With a population of over 2.2 million and being the fourth most populated city in the U.S., 
Houston is the most populous city in North America without an NHL team. So Houston definitely has their perks, most notably being the population if the NHL wants to go that way. But outside of this article, I have not heard a ton on Houston being one of the top options in a relocation scenario. You've got Kansas City. They've got a population of over half a million and already have NFL, MLB, and MLS teams uh, with the Chief, obviously we know the Kansas City Chiefs fans, very impressive. I don't think the NHL would go to Kansas City. And the reason I don't think they would go to Kansas City, there's a few different things that are happening right now. Number one, Kansas City is trying to move downtown and get a new ballpark for the Royals. If you guys know Kauffman Stadium is located right next to Arrowhead, the next step in my eyes is Kansas City possibly by 2026 getting a new stadium for the Royals and then Arrowhead Stadium, which is right next to Kauffman Stadium, getting a total renovation, maybe a modern renovation to where they'll expand the parking because Kauffman Stadium is going to be gone. And I think that's what Kansas City is going to do. Also, the Royals really do not draw well. I know it's not fair because they've been so bad the past three or four years, but still, they do have attendance problems. So I don't think the NHL would really look at that and think that's a great option for a team like the Coyotes who are already not good. You're probably going to be getting a bad team going to Kansas City. Also, there's issues with where would they play, What's the arena like? There's no NBA team in Kansas City, so it's not like you could, you know, make an NBA arena, an NHL arena. That would be a problem. Uh, Next, you have Hamilton, Canada, located in Ontario. Hamilton is one of the largest cities in the province and one of the 10 most populous cities in Canada. Hamilton already hosts a Canadian Football League team in the Tiger Cats and the Ontario Hockey League's Bulldogs, uh, but has more than enough reasons to be granted an NHL team as well. So Hamilton is a city that always seems to get talked about When it comes to the NHL relocation, are they going to put another team in Canada? I think it makes sense, and I think Hamilton is going to be one of the top contenders if the Coyotes do relocate. They are an option, and then I would say the other top contender, Quebec City, the capital of Quebec, the second largest city in the province behind Montreal, And I see Quebec City being a major player for an NHL team. So if you're talking about within the United States, there's been rumors about Salt Lake City. They also are trying to get a a baseball team there as well. But there has been rumors about Salt Lake City for an NHL team. There has been rumors for, you know, maybe... I wonder if they would consider Austin, Texas. That's Because Austin, Texas is growing so rapidly... Who is really going to be the first to make the jump? Which one of the four major sports? Well, you know what? I think, does Austin, Texas have an MLS team? I think they do. But who is going to be one of like the big four? MLB, NFL, NBA, NHL. Would the NHL consider Austin, Texas over Houston, Texas? Or would they, would they choose Houston? It seems like Houston would be a top option just based off the pack just based off the fact it's the biggest current city in North America that does not have an NHL team. But those are kind of the top options right now. And then you also do have the whole idea of Atlanta recently coming out with renderings of a possible $2 billion sports complex that would also have an NHL arena. Could they be a team? You know, I believe both Hamilton and Quebec City already have arenas that could facilitate an NHL team, so that helps as well. But this Arizona situation, normally, again, it reminds me ex- almost exactly as the Oakland Athletics. When you look at the Oakland Coliseum, you look at how terrible it is, you've got the Coyotes getting kicked out of Glendale, having to play at a 5,000-seat mini-college arena. It's so similar. There is no, they're a bad team. There's no hope for them in in the short-term future. There's no energy. I see them at this point, especially with those sources within ESPN saying it's looking more and more likely like it's almost a foregone conclusion that a relocation is going to be happening. You know, that is very possible. And then I did see a recent tweet that said, which North American city 
deserves a professional sports team the most. And I actually think Virginia Beach, Virginia would be the city that I would go with, guys. That deserves, I'm not saying for NHL. I think Virginia Beach for MLB, if the MLB, you know, went to Virginia, Virginia is, I think, the biggest state in terms of population that doesn't have any professional sports teams. I believe I read that. So, to me, Virginia deserves a pro sports team. Virginia Beach is the city I would choose. There's a lot of different options you can say, but for me, you know, when it comes to a city that doesn't have any of the four sports, any city in Virginia would be my choice. I would like to see a team there. When it comes to this NHL team, I would like to see Hamilton, maybe Quebec City, another Canadian type area. I think Salt Lake City could work as well. But there is that thing where Salt Lake City seems to be trying to get an MLB team. Would they also pitch for an NHL? It's would it would they really want to get both? That seems rather unlikely. Or would they say, you know what, if we pitch for both, maybe we'll have a better chance at getting one of them. And also you would kind of mitigate the issue of Arizona moving anywhere crazy. They would just be moving a little bit north. It would be kind of the exact same time zone, the exact same area of the country moving from Arizona to Utah. That would be something that would be very easy. I guess also moving from Arizona to Texas would be easy as well. But either way, that's the current situation when it comes to Arizona kind of getting their death nail last night. The $2.1 billion arena project not passing and the statements coming from them on their Twitter from ESPN. It's not looking good for Arizona. It's something that has to be resolved. It is not a solution to play at a 5,000 you know, seat arena that is not to NHL standard. And they're going to have to do something. So I'm sure we're going to get a lot of pitches from teams trying to lure the Coyotes to wherever their city is. And we'll have to see what ends up happening as this story continues to develop. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.